Hola chicos, ¿qué tal? Uh, we are in audio number two and video number two in the series of learning verbs now. Okay, for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Okay, the uh, parallel textbook. Now, we're still in the A's and we're moving into the B's. So, the first verb that we're going to learn today is to learn. A very handy verb, is it not? Okay, and the verb to learn is aprender. Aprender. Okay. Now, aprender actually is the root of where we get the word apprentice. Okay. Um, an apprenticeship because that's all about learning. It was the original way that we learn our trade. Okay. Being an apprentice. So, that's what you've got to think about. Apprentices learn. Aprender. So, imagine apprentice. Okay, and an apprentice, however you might imagine an apprentice, learning, I don't know, learning to saw wood or learning to um, do something electrical. Okay. Aprender. Apprentice. Okay. Next one is to fix or to sort out something. Okay. To get it sorted, to get it fixed. And that verb is arreglar. Arreglar. Okay. Now, Again, we've got another word that's very similar in English, and that is to regulate, okay? To regulate something. Now, to regulate something is, to f is sometimes to fix it, to put it right, to sort it out, and to check it, okay? So, arreglar, regulate. Arreglar, to fix it, to sort it out, so you're regulating it. Mm -hmm. Next one is help, to help. Okay, and the, the verb to help is ayudar, ayudar. Okay, so this is how you imagine somebody needs help and they say, um, are you there? Are you there? Help, please. Are you there? Help, please. Okay, you there? Help, please. Ayudar. Okay, help, please. Ayudar. Ayudar. Okay, next one is to go down, and that can be to go down a flight of stairs, okay? Just to go down, is bajar, bajar, okay? So it can be to go down a hill or just whatever, anything. So how are you gonna remember this is, imagine that you, you're going down a flight of stairs, you slip, you land on your back, and you go down the entire flight of stairs on your back. Bajar, okay, bajar, on your back very painful. Has it happened to you? It has to me. Really hurts. Okay, next one is to look for. To look for. And the word is buscar. Buscar. So there are two words in that. One is a bus and one is a car. So I'm looking for a bus or a car. I'm looking for a bus or a car. That's what I'm looking for. I want to go on a journey. Um, I need to get there really quickly, so I either need a bus or a car. That's what I'm looking for. Buscar. Okay. And then the last one is to load. To load something. Okay. That might be a truck or a train or whatever. To load. And that is cargarse. Cargarse. And it can also be for a computer to load. Okay. So. Imagine that you're loading a train with lots of cars, okay? You're loading the cars onto the train. Cargarse, cargarse, okay? And it's a reflexive one. It's loading itself, actually. There you are. Clever train, eh? So, cargarse, to load cars onto a train. Bien. Okay. So, that was short and sweet. Quick, eh? Now I'm going to test you to see how many of these verbs you have remembered. Okay. Now, first one is this. Aprender. Aprender. Okay. Now you're thinking of apprentice. And apprentices do what? They learn. So to learn is aprender. Okay. Next one. Arreglar. Arreglar. Sounds like regulate to fix, to put right, sort something out, arreglar. Mm -hmm. Some people, you hear people, Spanish people say, for example, Spanish speakers I should say, say, uh, mira, voy a arreglar la situación, I'm going to sort out the situation. Or, 
El coche está roto, lo voy a arreglar. The car is broken, I'm going to fix it. Mm -hmm. So, arreglar, regulate. El siguiente. Ayudar. Ayudar. Ayude. Help. To help. So, to help is ayudar. Next one. Bajar. Bajar. So, where are you going? What's happening? On your back, you're going down the stairs. So, bajar is to go down. What about this one? Buscar. Buscar. So, I'm looking for a bus or a car to get to my destination. Bus or car, I'm looking for. Buscar, to look for. And then the last one. Cargarse. Cargarse. And that is to load. Yeah, loading cars onto a train. To load. Cargarse. Not to be confused with cagarse, which is completely different. I'm not going to tell you what the meaning is. If you want to look it up, just take the R around. Now, <laughs> okay, so that's the end of audio two and video two. These are nice and short and sweet because I want you to remember them. It's so important. Entonces, nos vemos en el número tres. Hasta luego, chicos. Adiós.